Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Remko Rinkma, and you're watching Run It Back, the show in which we watch old school poker footage with some side commentary from yours truly. We're doing, we're gonna do some quizzes, some giveaways. We're gonna guess who wins some hands. We're just gonna have fun with it. So if you are ready for some fun, as I like to call it, stay tuned. Watch Run It Back with me. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from, and you know, let me know your thoughts on this new lineup. We're watching season seven. We've watched season five, season six, and now we're into season seven because we are in anticipation of season eight coming to Poker Go, a brand new season with Phil Ivey and Tom Bon and many more of your favorite players on December 16th. That's when the first episode will be on Poker Go exclusively. So I'll say that again. Season 8, new episodes of High Stakes Poker are coming to Poker Go on December 16th in honor of of the show returning that we all love so much. I will be watching with you guys season seven of High Stakes Poker. We're just going to have some fun with it, some random shenanigans. I'm going to talk to you guys in the chat all day long for as long as this show will last today. Two episodes, episodes one and two of season seven of High Stakes Poker. We'll turn up the volume. We'll listen to the commentary of Norm MacDonald because that is the commentator for season seven. And of course, I'll do shout outs. We'll do a giveaway. By the way, giveaway today is very special. It's a signed photo by Phil Ivey from the new season of High Stakes Poker. So if that doesn't interest you, then I don't know what else to say. If you want to watch High Stakes Poker without me, Rem Korinkama, rambling to you on this broadcast, head on over to Poker Go right now. You can watch all seven seasons of this amazing show without my talking. So all seven seasons are on Poker Go. Season eight will be exclusively on Poker Go. All right, let me look at the chat, see who's here. I see Mark in the chat on Facebook. I see Jeanette with us again. Uh, Seth Weintraub in the house. Thank you so much for watching. Wayne is here. Daniel, Luis, uh, appreciate all you guys. Uh, Daniel Ellis with a good question. He says, where's Gabe? Well, Gabe Kaplan did not do commentary for season seven of High Stakes Poker. It was Norm McDonald doing it, as you guys can see right now on the screen. Um, we're still working on the commentary for season eight. We'll announce the commentators for season eight very shortly. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping for Gabe. I'm a big fan of Gabe. Hope he is back on the show. What do we got here on uh, YouTube? Leo in the house. Hamid, thank you. Ron is here. Wisco Baron in the house, as always. I appreciate it. Um, Leo says, do I get pizza tonight? Yes or no? I feel as though if you get to the point of asking yourself, should I get pizza? Then the question is always yes, because if the thought of pizza is in your head, that means you just have to admit to it. Um, Wisco Baron mentions swag bag. That is correct. We have a giveaway to do from last Thursday, looking at the calendar right now, last Thursday we did a giveaway on, um, on Instagram and it was to guess who would win in the Doug versus Daniel challenge and by how much. Obviously, we don't know the answer, but we're going to do a random draw based on all the people that entered and my lovely assistant here, uh, executive producer, Neha, is doing the random draw as we speak. I'm looking at our conversation. She's about to give me the winners. So I will give you guys the winners. You'll get a t-shirt, deck cards, hoodie, all that good stuff. Um, I believe there's some stickers in there as well. Um, let's see what else we have going on. Leo is asking, do I have to pay for season eight? Season eight will be behind the paywall on Poker Go exclusively. Costs a lot of money to make these shows. Don't get me wrong here. Of course, we're trying to put as many cool things on YouTube and Facebook, but this is very, very expensive to put together. So yes, it will be exclusively on Poker Go behind the paywall. Don't let that deter you though, because we have a lot more on Poker Go. You know what we did this year? Just to let you guys know before we dive into this first hand, if it gets interesting, I'll turn up the audio. Don't worry about that. This year, we released every single year of the World Series of Poker on Poker Go. So 2003, all the way up until 2019. You can watch all of it. You, you can watch the main event. You can watch all the side events. Every single thing that was ever created is now available on Poker Go. Very good news there. We put a lot of time and effort into making the database complete. All right, first big hand. Let's listen in. We have Croak uh, with pocket jacks against Selps with ace queen. Four players to the flop. Let's listen in. There's always a nine. Croak's jacks lead. Vanessa fires in a continuation bet. What is that? 7,600. Robert Croak, who amassed a fortune when he created silly bands, is now wondering if Vanessa is just making a silly bet. So he'll try to find out with a min raise. Mm -hmm. 
seven. Raise to fifteen thousand seven hundred. Hard to know what Pete's thinking about here on the first hand. A little stewage. How much did you start with? 200. Interesting spot here for Vanessa. Has the heart, of course, for the backdoor draw. And we know she's very aggressive, which I love about her. Now, Vanessa's trying to figure out what an amateur would raise with there. She figures he wouldn't do it with a draw, so she probably Let's puts go. him on pair of nines or better. All right, we got action. She'll call and look to the turn. Five of hearts on the turn. Great Vanessa card now for Vanessa. With plush draw. And a gutter ball. Don't forget about it. The three will make her a straight. Croak studying her. Here we go. And Vanessa bets out, representing a flush. Wow, that's such a horrible card. This is unexpected. We're never folding here, right, guys? Let me know in the chat. Jax, you just cannot fold here to, to one bet. Uh, 200. Just a thought here on Vanessa's play here. She's super aggressive. We all know that. But the problem here with Croak's hand is that Croak probably knows that if he calls the turn, he's going to have to call the river, no matter what it is. And Vanessa has outs, clearly, as you can see by the percentages. But this spot is really tough because I feel as though, you know, Croak knows that, I mean, I would always see the river, but it is kind of tough when you have to see the river knowing that someone like Vanessa Selbst is likely to blast off a ton into you. Vanessa didn't want to hear that question. You might get your wish here. She's betting out with a semi-bluff. Can Croak figure this out? I had that same wish, but I wish it was Antonio, and then he folded, so. <laughs> you want to hurt me, but, huh? Good call, Egg Macaroni. I like that. And... All right, first pot goes to Vanessa Selves. Egg Macaroni on YouTube said, maybe you can fold after you say out loud, whoa, that's such a terrible card. Yeah, just keep your mouth shut. Just wait a second, give it some thought, give it some pause, even if you're likely to fold. It's better not to give away anything in case you change your mind halfway through the hand. Of course, aggression from Vanessa, that is working. Seth Weintraub is asking, what am I drinking? Uh, Topo Chico, as always, no free ads, but please sponsor me, my favorite drink. I drink it all the time. Um, let me look at the chat here for a second. Um... Uh, Sashi Kant Sachi says, I hope, I hope you pick my name this time. I did. Here you go. I appreciate you watching. Uh, Travis says, I miss all the poker. Man, I'm the biggest poker fan in the universe. I miss poker more than anything. It is crazy. However, we are working on lots of new shows. Little inside secret here. Today, we are taping Poker After Dark. So that's really exciting. At the PokerGo studio, it is, it is only allowed for the people inside the bubble. It's very, very safe. But we are taping new episodes of Poker After Dark. And those are also coming in December. So you have so much to look forward to. Um, let's see what else is going on here in the chat. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free to let me know. High Stakes Poker Season 8 is coming to you on PokerGo. Please, um, let's see what we got here. We have... Um, Ruffin with the threes, limping in. All right, we'll see where that goes. Uh, Gal v Vassell says, Ray Remco, I love the show. Watch from Slovenia. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for watching. That is awesome. Uh, Selby says, so strange to see Bill climb without his master's cap. Yeah, and I'm missing the green jacket as well. All right, we have queens, seven, five from Doyle, and threes from Ruffin. So this could get wild depending on how the flop plays out. Is Fendiar getting involved here with 10-9 suited? Yeah, yeah everyone does. He has slept worse than a big boy, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Every person. Antonio's oh, in with the suited connectors and yeah. Ruffin comes along. Take it. You got one more coming. Yeah. Four players. Set of threes for Mr. Ruffin, and this could be trouble for Vanessa. Okay. This could get ugly. Antonio with top pair will ignite the match. Call. And a quiet call by Phil Ruffin. Call. Now Doyle's got the gut shot, but uh, don't expect him to stay frisky with this hand.
And now Vanessa. Huh. Did you guys see that look? She's trying to figure. Hold on. L pay attention here. Check out Vanessa's look here over on the stack of Phil Ruffin. Just a little glance. After Doyle folds. Whoop. There it is. And there it now is. Now Vanessa. I love that. She's trying to figure out what to do. I've got to believe she thinks she has the best hand right now. So she's going to raise to 63,800. That's more than enough protection for her queens against an ordinary hand or draw. But Make it there's an extraordinary oh, hand. Oh, and wow. Look at that. Sorry. That's okay. Ruffin <laughs> wants in that hand immediately and plays out a turn. Wow. That should be a big signal to Vanessa. <laughs> Make it 100. <laughs> Makes that easier. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alarms have to be going off for Vanessa right here. We got action. You got raised. Biffer, translation, you're beat. You have a good hand? You have a period? And Vanessa starts to talk. I haven't looked yet, so let's go. <laughs> Hold on here. Does Phil Ruffin ever have anything less than a set here? Let me know in the comments how you feel about how Phil Ruffin is playing right here. He is... An older gentleman, recreational player, clearly has a, a unlimited bankroll, or at least way beyond the bankroll limits of Vanessa Selbst. Um, but we also know that these players are usually fairly tight. So I wonder, and I'll get to some shoutouts in a bit because I see some people in the chat and I appreciate you guys. Um, does Phil Ruffin ever have anything other than a set here? I just cannot imagine him raising with a, with a draw. She's fishing for information that Ruffin just gave her with that raise. But do you like your hand? It's okay. It's okay? Mm. But not super amazing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. God, I didn't expect that. I have to say, I didn't expect that. What could she be thinking? Tens or jacks, the only hand she's a big favorite against. All right, I'm all in. All call. In. Snap call. And she knows Thank she's you. dead now. Yep. Nice hand. Vanessa looks wow. like she's in shock. Painful. Do you, want to have it, do you want to run it more than once? Or? No. No? He might not know what running it twice means, but he knows if Vanessa asks, it's a bad idea. Nice hand. I would call that a super amazing hand, actually. It's a good time for her. What was I doing in that butt? A club club. Yeah. Wow. Insane. And Vanessa looks like the dejected amateur, and Ruffin looks like the... I broke the world. Calm pro in this one. That was you? Mm. Oh, look at Doyle, by the way. 7-5. That was Doyle. Two outs. Nine, ten of diamond. And High Stakes Poker Season well, 7 has officially started. <laughs> Look at the pot size, guys. Before we forget, almost half a million dollars in the middle here. Episode 1, Season 7 of High Stakes Poker. Really? You guys are watching Run It Back. Vanessa Selps not off to a good start here. But I do appreciate her relentless aggression. And hopefully we'll get to see some more of her here on the next few hands. All right, let's see what else we got going on here in the chat. I, I think I owe someone a shout out here on YouTube. Um, Alan D., Watching from Chicago. Appreciate you watching. You say you watch all the time. That is the music to my ears that I've been waiting for. All right. The giveaway uh, is in. We have two winners in our giveaway from last Tuesday. So in case you missed it, we did a comment competition on PokerGo on Instagram. And the winners are Adam, Adam B. Cole and Sam Schraubs on Instagram. So we will reach out to you guys on Instagram to let you know and to get your address so we can send you guys the goodies. It's going to be a Poker Go swag bag with a hat, a t-shirt, a hoodie, and I believe there's cards and some, um, some stickers or patches in there as well. So a great prize for you guys to win. All you have to do is leave a comment on Instagram. All right, we're doing another giveaway today on the show, and I feel like this is the perfect time to announce the giveaway as Vanessa Selbst is talking to Kara Scott about this hand. 
And uh, even though it's interesting to hear what she has to say, I am much more interested in letting you guys know about the giveaway. All right, go to PokerGo on Instagram right now. PokerGo on Instagram right now. You see a, um, a photo posted there. It is the um, f- second to last photo we posted. It says, signed Phil Ivy photo giveaway. That's all you have to do. Follow the rules in that post and enter the competition and you could win a signed photo by Phil Ivy from the new season of High Stakes Poker. So if you want to win a photo signed by Phil Ivy, that is what you need to do. Go on over to uh, the PokerGo Instagram page right now. Make sure to follow us as well so we can reach out and send you a message in case you've won. So jump on in there, go to PokerGo on Instagram and leave a comment uh, on the signed Phil Ivy photo giveaway. I'll give you guys some reminders here further down the line about this and then we'll dive back into the action here. All right, let's see what else is happening in the chat. And maybe I missed a few things because we've been really deep into the action. Joseph is saying, what the F was Vanessa thinking? Well, clearly she had, uh, you know, not not as high of a regard uh, or not, not as high of an esteem as far as the hand that Mr. Ruffin had. All right, aces for Klein, jack 10 for Viffer, and jack 4 for Ruffin. We're going to see another flop. Let's Klein's see where this goes. Aces in very good shape. In that spot, I don't think you're going to win. All I'm telling you is most of the big pots he played the last time I played. Whoa. Okay. Hello. You're in a flush draw for Pete. I think some of these young kids think they invent a gambling door. They don't know that you're Klein that. makes the bet with the aces. They build a better Could see some fireworks here. Thanks. Expect a raise from Pete. And there it is. Me. Mm-hmm. Sorry. And Ruffin acts in turn for a change. So it's back to Klein. Now he's hoping that Pete has a hand like King Queen. Right. Decides to find out. Big pot's done. Yeah, I mean, every pot's gotten blooded. Every pot's getting big. Raising it to 60. Yeah. Raises 7, it. Yeah, there's alternate. To 67, and now. Big pot again. There's Pete never, is thinking. There's never a shortage of players when from the stage program. Don't look away All now. What he's really thinking oh, is, is, is he up now. against a set? Yeah, everybody wants to find that stage program. Yeah. Against anything else, he's in good shape. I'm all in. And Pete goes all in. Wow. Wow. Big shove. Klein can't fold. Klein starts thinking again. Didn't expect that. We've heard that before. That's what I said. That's what they always say. (laughs) Everybody's double parked. Everybody holds exactly still as long as they can and say, ah. Call. And he calls. It doesn't take us long to get to our second 400,000 plus pot. I mean, is this season good already or what? Money everywhere, $428,000 in the middle. You're watching Run It Back. This is High Stakes Poker Season 7. Let's see if Viffer can hit one of his outs. To give to charity, that's awesome. No one way or the other. Yeah, right. No. Nope. Klein dodges the turn. That's not a good one. <laughs> uh oh. But not the river. Pete is going to double up. Whee! A vifster. Whee! I don't know if we wanted to see him get out to the lead. Look at this, guys. $428,000 heading in Viffer's way. Bill Klein taking a massive hit, getting his aces cracked. Let me know in the chat the last time you had your aces cracked or maybe what the most painful time was when your aces got cracked. I'm more than excited to tell your story on air if it is interesting enough. Uh, Mohammed watching from Bangladesh. Appreciate you watching, Mohammed. As always, hope you're here every single week. This show happens twice a week, by the way, every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, as you are watching right now, and every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So that's our night show. I'm going to have a guest on the show this Thursday, still working on it, but it's going to be a good one. Um, it's going to be someone who's already been on the show before. So it's someone who is aware of the format, who kn- they know how it works, which is very important. Um, Aaron Curtis on Facebook is saying, obviously was beat, good fooled by Doyle, referring to the Vanessa Selbst hand. That was definitely an, an inter- interesting situation. Um, and as I'm also reminded, as I'm seeing all the likes pouring in for this video, hit that like button if you enjoy the content, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook. That like button helps me a lot. Keeps me keeps me in business. My job is dependent on the likes that I get 
for this show. We have Texas in the house. I can see that. That's always appreciated. I think we have Texas in the house every single week, which is awesome. Let's see what else is here. Uh, Danny says, remember, Aces is just a pair. Very true. Boss Mode is asking, what year was this aired? This aired in 2011, just before Black Friday, RIP, in case anyone remembers that. So um, this was the last season, the final season that was taped back in 2011. We are bringing High Stakes Poker back. Season 8 is coming at you on December 16th, airing at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you want to sign up for PokerGo right now and take uh, $10 off, you can use the promo code uh, HSP2020 or, um, you know, you can watch uh, do the PAD2020 promo code. Same thing. Works both ways. $10 off your subscription. Yep, 4500 How much do you have? He's not going to do it. Now he's getting quiet. You want to chop it or you want to take it all? I'll take it all. You got it. Okay, kids, learn from a master. All right, Doyle takes the pot down. And just to remind you guys, all new Poker After Dark episodes coming on December 13. New High Stakes Poker episodes coming on December 16. And we have a full library of content, which includes every single WSP main event going back to 2003. We even have some old school stuff on there. Remember when Phil Helmuth won the WSP main event back in 1989? Well, we have that on PokerGo. We also have some stuff from the 70s on PokerGo. So if you love poker, PokerGo is the place to be, as always. Canada in the house, Philippines in the house, Ohio in the house. Ooh, boy, Netherlands in the house. We've got some, we got some people coming in now with some remarks on where they're watching from as always i appreciate it keep that coming in the chat let me know where you're watching from and don't forget to like chips. this video sorry sorry, sorry. showing you'll bet with any two cards yourselves again ace queen well, this vanessa time. knows that viffer is going to have a wide range here so I suspect she has the best hand pretty sure of it so it's just a question of calling or raising at this point People are asking in the chat the, to repeat the giveaway for this week. Go to Poker Go on Instagram, and you see the post there about the signed Phil Ivey photo giveaway. It is right up there. It's the second post you see on our feed. Follow the instructions on that post, and that's how you can win. Announcing the winners next week, or sorry, on Thursday, on the Thursday show. So don't miss out on that. We'll give away, we're giving away a signed Phil Ivey photo from the new season of High Stakes Poker. All right, Ace Queen versus Ace Queen. As always, as we play this game, when there is two of the same hands involved, we play this game. Would you guys let me know in the chat who is going to win? Who's going to win this hand? Vanessa Selbst or Antonio Esfandiari? I don't think Viffer is going to get involved with the 4-3 offsuit. So let me know right now in the chat who's going to win. Same hand versus same hand. It is ace-queen versus ace-queen. Selbst versus Esfandiari. We have a 3-bet um, to $10,000 from Selbst from the button. And then Esfandiari coming in with a 4-bet uh, to 33 k with ace-queen offsuit. Get your guesses in right now. Selps or Esfandiari. Who will take this down with Ace Queen? Let me know right now, and I'll hit play on this clip. Tough lay down. And now Vanessa. She might shove, actually. I wouldn't be surprised. She looks over at the stack of Antonio. I'm all in. Oh. All in. Bang, bang, bang. So this really oh, puts pressure on Antonio, who really cannot make this call. I like this table. As you can tell by his smile over to Viffer. Some days you're the pigeon, some days you're the statue. Yeah. Sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the moon. I'm going to put your card protector in there. Thank God, Antonio. All right. <laughs> and a great play by Vanessa. Nice hand. Pats on the back. If you guessed Selbst, she just ripped it in there. I love it. You got to admire her. She had the heart to put... So, you know, as much as we like to criticize, as I can see in the chat, the play of Selbst, this was also a hand that sort of made her rich in a way. Because she is so aggressive, she can make people fold the same cards, and that is a great way to make some money. So, you know, my, tip my hat to Vanessa Selbst. That is amazing. Interesting of the newcomers, Bill Klein. Bill Klein is here playing his first season of high-stakes poker. What's All right, while Bill Klein is talking to Kara Scott, let me look into the chat. Wow, 
We got a lot of bad beat stories coming in on Pocket Aces here. I, I love seeing it, to be honest. We've seen some stories of Aces versus Kings and Queens and that not working out. Uh, Aaron Curtis says, I had Aces cracked recently by quads on the river, board paired. Uh, Aces full of eights beat by quad eights. Woo, painful, man. Painful, really painful. I feel your pain. Um, what else we got going on here? Uh, Jared is saying that he... Oh, this is a long story. Okay, he lost aces against a flush against someone with ace-king. That also really, really sucks. I've lost aces more times than I can count. Um, let us see what else is going on. Oh, yeah, and please feel free to let me know in the, the chat where you're watching from. We've had Bangladesh, we have Texas, we have Ohio. I saw Israel in the house. We have people from all over the world, as always, as this is the most international show in all of poker. Let me just say that. That's my biggest claim of the day. Oregon in the house, Vienna in the house, Canada, Kentucky, Ohio, Netherlands once more, my home country, Philippines, as always with us on the show. Um, let me know where you're watching from. I love seeing the international crowd. Uh, Jack Knox on YouTube says, drove three hours to play in a cash game once. I was young and only had $500, sat in a 2-5 game. We got it all in pre, run it twice. I lost both. Both Long ride home. Jack, I have a similar story. It was for less money. I was 18 years old. I rode my bicycle, because I'm from the Netherlands. I rode my bicycle to an underground home game. I had 100 euros to my name. I played the 20 euro tournament. I busted. I had 80 euros left. Sat down in a cash game, busted on the first hand. Had to ride my bike home all the way. An hour bike ride on the way home. That was also the case money on the table. Not very smart, but lesson learned. All right, big hands here and play again. You don't love Biffer? <laughs> you love me? I don't love any man. No. Back to Don't Ask, Don't Tell by right. Doyle. How about Todd Brunson? Do you love him? I think he's going to take... He's thinking about he's it. He's going to take the fifth on that Show one. like the nine, eight. All right, Biffer takes one down. Show like the nine, eight. <laughs> Just make her sick. One time. That wouldn't make me that sick. I guess we get to see it in a couple months. My sickness I would is never. Amazing. I never show my cards. So a very simple sickness hand never, there. Never. Vanessa, min raises. And... Viffer goes all in for a trillion dollars. By the way, I like to defend my straddles. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't rear it. We can see that. Note to self. Note to self. I knew it might be a bad idea. All right, I think we have the entire universe represented here today on the show. Um, I'm only shouting out the ones that I haven't shouted out before because there's a lot of people from the same places as always. But we do have Florida, Serbia. We have Tim from Zimbabwe. Tim, I appreciate you watching from Zimbabwe. That is definitely a place that i've never been to i've been to south africa though so if you're really from zimbabwe i appreciate you watching from there vancouver in the house as always germany cyprus morocco california uh, london uk sebi says might be the best show in poker since high stakes poker let, let the record show i'm not paying sebi to say that i'm not paying sebi to say that all right we got multi-way action one of, my, one of my favorite things about high stakes poker is how many insane multi-way pots we get to see i mean pick your horse in this battle Ladies and gentlemen, let's play that game again. I like this game. All right, I'm going to go with the 9-7 of hearts from Antonio S. Fandiari. I think that hand has a lot of potential. Let me know right now which hand you think is going to take this down as we are likely going to the flop with many, many players. I think this could be uh, some serious multi-way action here as it's 2,500 for client to call. And then Viffer might even get involved with 10-3 suited. I fold. And Klein will call with Queen 7 suited. I'm glad you did. I'd have had to play this hand if you'd have called it. <laughs> you just right. wait for Viffer to come in? So Look at all these options. Players. Six players do the flop. Make your choices. I'm going S. Fandiari on this one. I think the magician might have what it takes to take this pot down. And I do like the feeling of a 9 7 suited. That's one of my favorite hands. Um, some more counters to shout out here. White Horse Yukon, way up in Canada. Uh, we had Romania in the house also. Um, uh, Belgium. What else we have here? Iowa again. All right, we have lots of guesses on the hands. Let's roll the tape and see who is right. The flop, which is surprising, even more surprising. Six-handed, guys. Biffer's not one of them. I know how it is. That's cost me a lot of money. Hearts, well, hearts, hearts, hearts. Bad, bad hand, too. The flop, Jack for Trey. So the nines, the best hand, odd in a six-way pot. Looks like Klein's thinking of picking it up right here, but checks. Six falls. Now, that's an interesting card. It huh. gives a flush draw to Klein and an open-ended straight draw to Vanessa. The field is thinning. Now, 
Now, Klein also has a straight draw. Come on, Bill. So he might be thinking of raising, but calls. Back to Vanessa. Now, she might not want to play with two possible flush draws out on the table. Well, she will. Okay, a we got a hand. We've got some action. Big card on the end. It's a diamond. That'll scare everybody. And it's also the queen for the man in position. And it's checked to him. Klein can either turn over his cards now, but it looks like he might be thinking of making a value bet here. And indeed he is. So Vanessa's gone and Barry posturing, but he will be gone in a moment as well. Maybe not. Maybe he's going to pay him off. Raise 100. Yes. Oh. Whoa! He just raised it 100,000. Wow. He clearly does not give Klein credit for a flush here. He puts him on queens or a bluff, and he has put enough money in to cover both options. Huge raise. Wow. Look at Barry getting creative there with the nines. I love the check raise. An extra 100 Gs on the river there. That was a big one. Would add the flush. All right, big win there for Barry Greenstein, who has not been the most fortunate player on High Stakes Poker. If you are a big fan, and if you've watched every season, you are definitely aware of the fact that Barry has had some clashes, running it once and never really getting there. All right, we have lots of guesses in the chat. Pat yourself on the back if you got Barry with the nines. I see Pete Murphy got it right. Uh, maybe that's the only person who got it right, at least on Facebook. I see only... Oh, yeah, and I see Sork... Ooh, these names are tough. Sork Yamehamgan... He says nines as well on YouTube. Appreciate you guys all for tuning in. All right, what else we got here? Um, Hesekiel says, do we see the old poker after dark cash games with Durr and Ivy again? Loved the Omaha sessions. Yeah, I can do that. I can do some old school PLO uh, poker after dark on running back. That is a really good idea. I'm making a note and we will do that soon in the future. As I said before, this show happens twice a week. If you just want to watch high stakes poker or poker after dark without my rambling or without the giveaways or without this, this beautiful this beautiful sort of friendship we're all building internationally with people from all over the world watching this at the same time. If you don't want any of that, you can go to pokergo.com right now to watch this all without the blabbering because all seven seasons of both High Stakes Poker and Poker After Dark are available on Poker Go. The new season of both shows starts to air in December. On the 13th, we have Poker After Dark. On the 16th, we have High Stakes Poker every single week going forward. So sign up to Poker Go right now. Use the promo code HSP2020 to take $10 off your annual subscription, and then you will never be bored ever again. Hoping that Let's see where this goes. Two big cards, bet out. Try to steal it here. Doyle, hoping Vanessa has two big cards, calls. That's the way to go. And a river three, so if Doyle thought he had the best hand on the turn, he certainly still believes he has the best hand. Vanessa, thinking about it. And fires in another bet. Come on, Doyle. We're hoping to get uh, Doyle maybe to lay down an ace. Doesn't realize she's up against monster <laughs> ducks. Just pay it off. She says pay it off. Interesting. <laughs> you might not want to talk to Doyle in a hand. King high. And he pays it off. Nice. All right, Doyle, Doyle with the deuces. Uh, Doyle Brunson, ladies and gentlemen. Old school legend. My favorite part was just pay it off. Quack, quack. You know? The commentator is indeed Norm MacDonald, famous comedian. By the way, if you like Norm MacDonald, we have the top five poker hands of Norm MacDonald available on Facebook and YouTube right now. So if you want to see more from Norm MacDonald at the poker table, he played on Poker After Dark and on the um, Super High Roller Celebrity Shootout. You can see those hands right now on both our channels. Don't forget to subscribe, by the way, to our YouTube channel because we have so many new clips coming out every single week. And the same goes, of course, for Facebook. We're putting the same content on both platforms. So if you're more of a Facebook person or more of a YouTube person, pick your favorite and watch all the content. Tomorrow, 
11 a.m. A new top five hands from season five of High Stakes Poker. Arguably the best season ever made of High Stakes Poker up until today, of course. Season five of High Stakes Poker, top five hands airing tomorrow, 11 a.m. Pacific, which I believe is 2 p.m. on the East Coast. So tomorrow, a new top five hands on YouTube and Facebook. Subscribe to YouTube and to our Facebook channel if you never want to miss another big clip again because we have so many clips coming out. I think we have five clips a week going out. So, you know, trying to do the best we can to to spread the love and the wealth of all this poker history with you guys. Ruffin has the flush draw. What do we got here? And he bets two and a half times the pot. And two quick folds to Ruffin's semi truck, uh, semi bluff. And he'll carry the loot home. Nice Phil. Chris Mace on YouTube is asking, Remco, what's your favorite poker game and what's what stakes, uh, I guess, do you play regularly? My favorite game is mixed games. Um, the highest I've played live is a 2040 mix. Um, I play, you know, small games for fun mostly. I'm not a professional poker player. I work for Poker Go. I do this full time. I talk about poker. I write about poker. Uh, we, we, we had a podcast. We're bringing the podcast back in 2021 when all the live poker returns. But basically, I've been in the game of poker for almost 15 years. Um, I've played uh, mostly tournaments for most of my life online. Um, there was a time where I made some decent money playing poker, but those times are long gone. And now I just play for fun. So if you can find a mixed game, that's where you'll find me. I've played four WSOP events. I've never cashed. Uh, the closest I ever got is actually a funny story. I got knocked out by uh, Bruno Fatusi, as you guys all might know from the 50K horse who lost heads up against Freddie Deep. I got busted on the bubble of the 10 game event at the WSOP a few years ago in Badoogie. So really sad about that. Um, really sad about the fact that I still am waiting for my first ever live cash but yeah i play for fun and mixed games are my favorite um by the way on that note let me know in the chat what your favorite game is what stakes do you play what's your favorite game to play are you a hold'em guy are you an omaha girl let me know in the chat right now what you prefer to play maybe maybe you'd play tournaments or sit and goes or maybe you're more of a seven card stud grinder uh either way let me know in the chat what your favorite game and stakes are i'm very curious to hear more and we'll read off some of the best it is ones if you say so all right <laughs> take it all or chop here comes doyle Last chance for romance. <laughs> Pete will gamble. This could get ugly. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I could get even. That's all I know. Check. Yeah. Goes check, check. Check. And no more checking for Doyle. Throws out 15,000. Now Viffer not folding yet. He's thinking maybe if he comes over the top, he can get Doyle to lay it down, represent maybe an eight. All right. But he can't pull the trigger and the check. All right, one more for Doyle here with pocket tens. Johan Huismann asked if I'm familiar with the uh, ONKP, the Dutch uh, Amateur Poker Championships. I am. I'm familiar with that. I love what you guys are doing there with all that. Um, Cyril John says he's up to level 104 in Zynga Poker. That's that's quite an accomplishment. It sounds like you've been playing that a lot. Um, what else we got here? We have uh, Trent Walker saying, I like live cash games and online tourneys. I think I'm with you there. I think I, I, I am sort of the same. I like playing live cash and I like playing online tournaments. That is great. Um, Let's see. Egg Macaroni is asking, Remco, did poker hurt you or is it amicable? I mean, uh, poker is a constant back and forth of pain and suffering to tremendous amounts of joy if you finally manage, manage to steal the blinds in a cash game that you're not bankrolled for. Uh, so yeah, poker does hurt, but it's also a lot of fun and I will never give up playing and I still love to play whenever I get a chance. So when live poker does come back in Las Vegas, which is where I live now, I will definitely be hopping over to some casinos to uh, get some um, get some playing. Um, Warren Ingersoll says, let me get a shout out for Omaha. <laughs> Gave it another like. I appreciate it. Double like for the show today. Don't forget to like the video. Be like Warren. Like the video. I appreciate that. All right. Phil Ruffin with Ace King. Let's see if this hand goes somewhere. Let's see what else is happening here on the Facebook chat. Alfred says, hold him. No limit playing tournaments online and sometimes live cash played uh, in... 
Oh, I think we might have played before with Noah and Lex in the workshops. I was always always at the, at those as well for Team Poker News. I used to play back in the day. All right, big hands here. Let's listen in. Right. This is a cash game. It's a little different. File bankruptcy on this one and start another one the next day, a block away. And what are you going to do about it? You know. Doyle dodges an ace or king on the flop, and he checks. And another big over bet by Ruffin. Now Doyle is at least going to call here. No, he folds. Wow. Not if you want to do and Doyle gives him too much. Hold on. What just happened here? Doyle folded queens? Excuse me? No, he folds. And Doyle gives him too much credit. I'm shocked. I, I can't figure this. Perhaps Vanessa's queens running into rough and set of threes earlier is playing tricks with Doyle's mind on that one. Wow, that is a very strange fold by the legend Dole Brunson. Uh, Seth Weintraub letting us know he plays 5, 10, or 10, 20, no limit, or 10, 20, 5, 10, 20 PLO live cash games. Pretty big stakes there, Seth. Better be careful out there in the streets. Those are, those are stakes that can get really painful. Um, Jeanette is asking, what casinos do you like to play? Um, my favorite in Vegas are usually Aria or uh, at the Win or the Encore Poker Room. Those are really nice and, and comfortable. I have a lot of friends that work at the Aria, so I love playing there. But also, you know, I, I sort of like... I sort of like the seedy, grimy feel of some of these old school places. I mean, back in the day when I first came to Vegas, uh, Binion still had a poker room. Uh, I love playing at Green Valley Ranch, who ha had a poker room up until COVID hit. Um, so yeah, you can find me basically anywhere, depending on the mood. You know, if we're if we're drinking heavily, I might go to one of those grimy places. If if we want to focus and play well and put some music on, I might go to one of the more nicer establishments. But yeah, uh, let me know in the chat what your favorite casino is to play at because I'm curious to hear from you guys. What else we got going on here? We have, um, let's see. Yeah, the Queens Fold blows my mind. Uh, Brockton, Massachusetts in the house. Ken Tilden, appreciate you watching as always. I think I've seen you before in the chat. Um, Noisaw says, I miss Shauna Hyatt. Uh, yeah, that was uh, Poker After Dark. She was on Poker After Dark for quite a few years, I believe. Jeez. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> so I had to get it over with. <laughs> Yeah, you can sit back and relax for two streets. The first, I, really, the, you know, because that's how I learned to play originally. And the first guy taught me there was a better way was Sailor. Yeah. Sailor bet like the right amount in all situations. Entice you, but you were getting the wrong price. He was, he was good. To, he, he'd have shown some of these young kids. Oh. Some stuff that? Ruffin calls with Ace Eight. He's a, he's a good guy to play with. He's a good. Over player. to Doyle, and he comes in with Doyle. seven four Doyle. suited. Yeah. Vanessa is out. But he was one of the first ones. All right, that's Fanyari with Ace Queen. This pot could get big again. Uh, Caleb Sorensen is asking, how do shows this decide what dealers to use on their programs? Well, they always use casino or they always use dealers from the casino where the cash game or tournament is being played so these dealers are bellagio dealers the the season seven was taped at the bellagio so these dealers are basically the best dealers from that property and that is basically how it works so whenever you see uh people playing at the poker go studio or the new season of high stakes poker those are the best dealers from the aria dealing at the poker go studio because that is where the studio is located but ruffin decides to stay put now, I just take, I pick up now the Brunson has a good trapping right. hand. But he thinks better of it. And Greenstein is not likely to play this hand. So, perfect scenario for Antonio. He's up against a weaker ace. Oh boy. Trouble for Ruffin. And a nice flop for him. So he puts out a bet of 8,300. How much for that? 8,300. 38,300. Wow. 38, and Ruffin makes it 38,000. Oh, just like that, huh? Just like that. Now, Antonio has got to believe he has the best hand. He knows if Ruffin had a big hand, he would slow play it. As he did earlier against Vanessa's Queens. 
So, now it's just a matter of how much he wants to raise. What's up, Brian? Thanks for watching from Colorado. I appreciate it. Maybe trying to sell him on a flush draw. Acting scared. All in. And the all in. Big move. Well, you got to give it to Ref in very quick fold there. Wow. I think Antonio might have been able to make some more money here off of Phil Ruffin if he would have called and, you know, just to find out what Ruffin would have done on the turn. How do we feel about this play? Let me know in the chat if, if you would have flat called there on the turn and then diving into whatever Ruffin would have done there. Um, what else we got going on here in the chat? By the way, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. It is what helps me. It is what helps stay this, stay, whoa, it is, it is what helps keep this show afloat. That's what I was trying to say. All right, Vincent says, I like the Golden Nugget when I'm in Vegas. Um, we have uh, Jeanette saying that my dad um, played in the Stardust and the Orleans. I played at the Orleans a lot as well. They have a really fun, or they used to have a really fun horse tournament on Sunday night that I've played in at least two dozen times. Um, Santa Fe Station is getting a shout out from Kyle. And we have uh, Joel watching from Hotlanta, Hotlanta in the house. And we have um, uh, Sydney, Australia also watching. Mose is with us. I appreciate that as well. All right, we, what we have here? Lots of draws. Lots of draws in the house. Sfandiari in open-ended straight. Pete has top pair and gutter ball for Croak. Ruffin oh. opens the betting and Pete calls with top pair. Oh. Antonio calls. And Croak comes along. Well, this is what a loose game looks like. Wow. Any hand can basically win at this point, and I can even see Croak getting away with something here in the turn. But uh, this, one, flush this one could get big. Oh, we lost audio here, which means that I have to just keep talking. I'm sorry, guys. I, my audio just crashed. Hopefully it comes back. And Oh, it is back. Check. Never mind. I'll be quiet. Check. Friendly turn. Everybody checks. Disaster card for Ruffin. He hits the nut straight. Well, well, well. But Mr. Silly Band has a silly backdoor flush. And Ruffin reaching for chips. I told you guys. Here comes Croak. 50,000. And a lot of chips. Again, he's going to make a big over bet. But he's going to get hurt this time. It looks like a $50,000 gift to Robert Croak. Oh. Why so much? I can't believe he's not snap calling him here. Come on, he Crokey. no reason to believe Ruffin has a bigger flush. This was a and Ruffin's unorthodox oversized bets are beginning to make people question the obvious. Wow. If you call 30 back, I'll call. And there he asks for a discount. Wow. Such a huge over bet. I love this from Phil Ruffin. I guess my hand is no good. Come on, Croak. Call. No. And he throws it away. No straight. way. Well, my hand was good. <laughs> and Ruffin shows him the Pull straight to be nice to him. The babiest of all babies. You pulled it a flush? Well, you bet four times the pot. Yeah, I had a straight. <laughs> I absolutely did. Did you really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, all right, guys. Was that the best bluff ever or the worst fold ever? Let me know in the chat right now how you feel. I think it was a bad fold because, Phil, I mean, Phil Ruffin's been really tight too, showing sets and stuff. All right, I don't know. I'm not smart enough to analyze this. Let me know in the chat what you guys think. Put on your chat pro hat and let me know if this was the best fold or, or sorry, if it was the worst fold or the best bluff ever because Ruffin clearly wasn't bluffing because he was proud to announce that he had a straight. But he bet 50K into, I think, 12 or 14K. Incredible hand. This is one of the funniest hands I've seen in a while. All right, we have Roxbury, New Jersey in the house. India is with us here. Hemoth, Yain. I hope I said that right. Appreciation is all on my side for you guys watching and tuning in. But I also have to apologize for some of the pronunciations sometimes. Seth Weintraub says, worst fold ever. And we're seeing lots of that. Joel and Ari uh, and Jeanette and... Uh, 
Um, Hemanth are all saying bad fold, bad fold, bad fold, bad fold. Wow, that is crazy. Uh, I do love the 50k overbet, but the intention was to get value, and that is something we have to keep into or take into account as well. Um, my God, what a hand! That was insane. All right, we have more action here. This this episode is awesome, by the way. Look at this. Look at all the draws. Klein. Well, Klein's gonna call. What a hand. Well. Poland in the house. Thank you, Michael, for watching. Two plays to the turn. Brick hits the turn. Check. Thanks, Hunk, Antonio for watching. Appreciate it. Still probably thinks he has the best hand. Ooh. Maybe putting the others on second pair and eight. a draw. And Croak thinking again. Again folds the best hand. Wow. But it was marginal. Antonio could have easily had the better kicker. All right. One for Antonio here. As I will once again remind you guys, if you go to PokerGo on Instagram, there is a giveaway for a signed photo by the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Phil Ivey. All you have to do is follow the instructions on Instagram, give us a follow as well, and you might win yourself a signed photograph by Phil Ivey from season eight of High Stakes Poker. A new season is coming to PokerGo on December 16th. So if you want to win, all you have to do is follow us on Instagram on PokerGo and to um, leave a comment on that post that we made. You'll find it. It's easy to see. So yeah, don't miss out on a chance to win a signed photo by Phil along. Ivey. And Klein with kings. Well, he's going to decide to trap these pros. All right, Bill Klein getting in the mix with kings again. And Pete in with seven high. He does put out some interesting facts, don't he, that guy? Yeah, he's good, that guy. And the trap works. Checks it. David Pete, the hapless victim in this one. And Klein, the check raise. And look at those faces. Who's trapping who? I really like how Viffer's playing this. Rather than Cole checking behind Klein, he tickled him with a small bet. And now just smooth calls oh, the check. Raise. Okay, this is going to get big. In case you're not paying attention, this hand's going to get massive. It has to. Look at these cards. How many will you follow, Barry? Well, Klein's got to believe he's up against Jax. Bifford just calls again. You should be working with me on projects. I could probably do it in the resources. The problem with following people, you know, I get the stuff on my cell phone, and then, like, you keep getting things you think you got to, you know, I'm always on vibrate. I always think someone called me. Or... And Klein yeah, yeah. fires a third barrel. Come on, Viff. Put the raise in. And Viffer didn't expect that. He's not acting. He's... Wow. Knit roll. Knit roll. He's definitely going to call. But he did not expect that, and he's wondering now if perhaps he's up against the full house. I don't want to ever be accused. Kings. Wow. That is 160k towards Viffer here, playing it coy with the five, three fives for him. Ooh, I feel a sneeze coming up. Hopefully I can hold it in. Don't worry, guys. I feel just fine. Um, let me know in the chat, by the way, uh, who your favorite player in this lineup is so far tonight. Um, Robert Croak is getting pushed around. You know, I think Vanessa Selps is still my favorite player just because of her aggression. Uh, but Viffer has been raking in the pots. He's been doing really well on this episode. Uh, let me catch up with the chat here for a second as we are watching season seven of High Stakes Poker. Yeah, sure. Episode two, in case you're keeping track and you want to keep watching after this show ends. What's your number one choice? Uh, I split it between two. Cystic fibrosis, it, it kills children. It's a uh, hereditary disease. And uh, I've been involved for 20 years. And since then, uh, the life expectancy was low teens and now they're into the 30s with all the, really? all the work they're able to do. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, Adrian Hauben, Huben is asking, uh, who's the presenter for season eight of High Stakes Poker? We're announcing that really soon. I hope 
it's Gabe Kaplan, but I don't know yet. So we'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned, by the way, to Run It Back because we will announce that on this very show. Um, Udo Berens watching from Amsterdam. Appreciate you watching as always. Love Amsterdam. One of my favorite cities to go. Um, Noi Sauce says 600 watching and only 65 likes. Come on. My thoughts exactly. Where are you guys? Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. That is all I need to keep this show going indefinitely. And we're watching season seven of High Stakes Poker now. We can watch Poker After Dark. We can do all sorts of things on the show. It is you guys. It's, it's like, a, what's it called? Dealer's Choice. You guys can decide what you want to watch with me right now, though. We're going to burn through Season 7 of High Stakes Poker in anticipation of the release of Season 8, which will be week by week, one episode per week of Poker After Dark and one episode per week of High Stakes Poker. So you guys will never have to be bored again. And, you, and of course, that comes along with the entire database of, of uh, Poker Go um, shows and episodes. We have so much to watch. If you've watched all of it, I will call your bluff because that is not possible. All right, looking at the standings here, Viffer is up more than 300K, Ruffin is up 200K, and at the bottom we see Selbst and Klein in the tough spots with the middle of the pack, uh, you know, hovering right between up or down $100,000. All right. Whew, I'm out of breath from talking so far, so much. Maybe I should quite be quiet for a bit. Um, yeah, let me know in the chat who your favorite player is in this lineup. Alfred says he always likes Esfandiari. Always lots of talk. I love America, is what he always says. Call. 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 And Ruffin defending a King Six suited. Oh, the likes are coming in on YouTube. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. That's awesome. We need as many as we can get. Viffer finds himself a legitimate hand on the straddle, decides to just call. Checks. And they check okay, to the razor. Who makes a continuation bet? Fiffer is suspicious. Okay. And not a good card for Viffer. If her bet's only 2,000. I bet he's going to raise here for sure. And I don't think Viffer's going to call this. Times. I call. Wow. Viffer takes no time at all in calling. He put Barry on a bluff, and he never took him off it. All right, that one goes to Barry Greenstein. Uh, Verlaine DeWitt is asking, how did you get into poker, Remco? Well, uh, back in 2006, when the poker boom was starting in the Netherlands, or maybe it was 2005, um, I just got hooked on it uh, because some of my friends were playing it uh, while I was on a summer vacation in the south of France on a campsite. They introduced me to the game. They taught me how to play. I bought some poker books. I bought some poker magazines. And I was basically... I was obsessed with poker ever since, and here we are in the year 2020. I live in Vegas, live in the dream, working for a company that makes amazing poker content. So it's been a long road, but it's been a lot of fun, and I've never gone a day without watching or playing poker since that first time uh, back in 2000. And I, I think it was 2005, 2006 is when I got more serious, watching all the old WSOP episodes, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I've been a total poker, poker junkie, poker maniac ever since. Experts reluctant to tangle with one another. AJ uh, Thompson says Brunson is his favorite player. Raquel says that it's Vanessa. Sashi Khan says Doyle. We have a lot of different players represented here as far as, as, far as our favorites go on the show. And an amateur calls. Suited connectors for everybody. And a flush draw for the amateur. I'll check it. Uh, Jack Knox with a, with a serious question. He says, is, is Ivy still considered the best? Um, I don't think so. I don't think Phil Ivy is no longer considered to be the best. However, I do think that Phil Ivy can be the best in any lineup at any given moment just because of his ability to adjust, his ability to make reads, and his fearlessness, his talent. So 
if you're looking at pure skill, I don't think Ivy's at the top, but I do think he probably has the most talent. He's the most gifted player that we've probably ever seen. And I would not bet against him in any sort of lineup. So it's a bit of a tough question to answer because skill in poker is so fluid. Um, who knows? Maybe Ivy is studying a lot right now. I just don't know. I cannot really look at that. But yeah, um, I don't think he... Uh, studies like some of the young kids do and I think he's probably a step behind but in a live cash game I would still love to bet on Phil Ivey because I think he's just forever going to be among the best as, as long as he cares as long as he cares about the stakes and it cares about um, what he is playing all right let's see what else we got going on here um, the presenter of season eight will be announced shortly it'll we'll announce it on the show um, that's going to be coming up real soon what else we got here Mark Rubin says, did you ever play at the casino in the airport in Amsterdam? No, I did not, uh, but I don't think there's poker there. I think that is only just uh, table games, which is uh, not my favorite unless I'm drunk, and I don't tend to get drunk at the airport. Um, Dennis says, you bent us a Nederlander, grappig, ik wist dat niet. Yeah, ik ben zeker Nederlander. Every now and then I like to drop in a little hint there that I'm not from the U.S. Doyle gets out of the way. Got my Dutch roots still going for me. All right. Bill Klein and Pete oh, evolves. Man. Lots of small cards here. I hope I hope we get multiple action here. Vanessa It'll says, be fun. okay, boys, let's get even. Call. Rough and calls call with two call. nines. Good luck. And Klein comes in. May somebody get punished. <laughs> it's always better for the game. Pick me, dealer. Pick me. First act. Checks. Ruffin's still ahead with the nines. Checks. Drew is asking on Facebook, who will be playing in season eight? We've got Tom Dwan and Phil Ivey confirmed for season eight. Let me actually ask my boss if I can review reveal one more name. Let me let me ask right I'm I'm messaging him right now. I just, I, you, hear, you heard me typing. I'm asking right now if I can re reveal one more name here for season eight of High Stakes Poker. I'm trying to work with you guys here, not against you guys. Call. Call to 8,000. And Ruffin's not going anyplace. Never believes Pete. Right. And a bold move by Klein. I love this race. I know Pete can't call. Punish them, Bill. Punish them. We got a game, Barry. We got a game. 15 more. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. And Ruffin almost acts out of turn, which makes Pete's decision even easier. Ruffin signaled he was calling, and he calls. Heads up to the turn. Looks like Next Klein up. doesn't want to steal from the sheriff. Check. Maybe he does. And an immediate fold by Ruffin. Great bet there by Bill Klein, picking up the pot here. Um, seeing lots of guesses from people uh, as far as the lineups for season eight. I see a few correct guesses in there. And also, um, the funny thing is that some, some footage leaked. I think Tom Dwan tweeted a video. But also, keep in mind that most of it didn't leak. So... There's lots of names you guys have no idea about, which I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I can reveal a few, but I'm not really sure. Um, December 16th, that's when High Stakes Poker comes back. That's why we are watching Season 7 right now on Run It Back to get ready for Season 8 of High Stakes Poker airing or starting to air on December 16th. What else we got going on here in the chat? All right, we have so much going on. I can barely keep up. All right, don't forget to like this video. That is important. That is the most important thing you guys have to do. I'll keep showing you guys high stakes poker. That's what I'm here for. And Klein defends with ace nine. So we have pro versus businessman again. Heads up to the Businessman flops top pair and bets. Bet is 5,000. Pro flops the second pair and calls. Check. 
pro hits trips and businessman check calls. 10 on the river. I don't think that scares Barry. He's just thinking about how much to extract. And he decides on 28,000. Call. And he's right. Jack's good, huh? Yep. Nice hand. All right, that is a pot for Barry Greenstein. Um, yeah, Doug Polk and Rick Solomon are also going to be playing on Season 8 of High Stakes Poker. They already revealed that on social media. So that is, those are a few names a few names that we can already tease. Uh, but yeah, we have, we're going to announce more and more names every week on the show. So I will settle on those. We have Doug Polk. We have Rick Solomon. We have uh, Tom Dwan. Um, actually, oh, just getting word right now. I can reveal a few more. You guys ready? You, pe you better like this video because I'm going to give you a few more names. Phil Helmuth playing on High Stakes Poker. Jean-Robert Blonde, High Stakes Poker. Um, Bryn Kenny is going to be on High Stakes Poker. Bryn Kenny, first timer. Same, same as Jason Kuhn, also going to be a first timer. Use promo code HSP2020 to take $10 off the annual subscription for Poker Go. And then you can watch High Stakes Poker with all those guys. Let's see. Sean McCormick says, do I have an NDA to not talk about the players? Yes, Sean, you do. And I know where you live, so I might come to your house and make sure you stay quiet. But yeah, I did reveal a few names right there. Those are a few of the names that I can already mention to you guys. So Helmuth, JRB, Jason Kuhn, Bryn Kenny, and of course we have Tom Dwan and Phil Ivey coming in as well. Um, keep in mind, by the way, that High Stakes Poker Season 8 is not just one show. It is not just one lineup. It's multiple lineups and it's tons of episodes. So it is not just going to be this one lineup. These players might not even be playing against each other. All right. Queens for Bill Klein, Selbst in the house with Ace-10, as we all know, this could get big. Crow comes in with Jack-8. And Selps takes the lead. But the thing is... With the aces, bad news yeah, for Klein. Here, Doyle, I'll give you this pack. This is the holiday pack. Here's the funny thing about... Five bucks, though. Klein bets. Vanessa thinks what to do. She knows Croak isn't going to call. He's busy selling silly bands. I'm sure he would have been quiet if he'd flopped a set. No, I wouldn't either. So, you know, I mean, it, it, it's like, hey, I've been paying for, Whatever I do, you for virtual know. flowers. Yeah. I've been paying for virtual this. Well, we I actually just, get something tangible. We're doing a deal right now. Are you yeah. familiar with Farmville? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, my daughter plays it's it. Huge, yeah. Yeah, right. Nothing yeah. changes so on the turn. Farmville to where you can go to the Farmville site when you're playing. Mm -hmm. Click to the Silly Band site. Klein checks. I wonder how much Selfs is going to bet here. And Vanessa decides to take the fight to the river. Nothing, I guess. Four makes the straight possible. Of course, neither player has it. Kids go crazy for these for the collectability and the tradability of them. And before the end of the show, I'm sure Antonio is going to come up with like a great trick with these. I just actually now Vanessa knows she has the best hand. It's just a matter of how much she thinks she can get paid off. And we have a little magic show going on, as Vanessa thinks. Uh, can't do it. Wow. Ooh. And you guys want to wow. play poker with this guy? <laughs> Hold on. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Did you guys see that? Okay. Shout out to Antonio Esfandiari. Wow. Hold on. Let's watch it again. And we have a little magic show going on, as Vanessa thinks. Uh, can't do it. Wow. Ooh. And you guys want to play cool. poker with this guy? That is really cool. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What'd you do? But has to decide 7,000. That was good. Maybe the right amount, but no. I got better ones. All right, Bill Klein, let's go over his queens. Very disciplined fold by Bill Klein there. We are still watching season seven of High Stakes Poker. This is episode two in case you're keeping score. And you can watch, of course, the entire season and every single season of this show on Poker Go in case you want to keep watching after this show is done. All right, lots of love there for the lineup. Lots of love there for the people playing on the new season of High Stakes Poker. That is great to hear. And I'm excited to see you guys all excited about that lineup. All right, let's see. Um, Walter White is saying, honest question, is Selbst overrated, underrated, or even, which I guess, you know, properly rated? Let me know in the chat how you feel about Vanessa Selbst. I think it's a great question. Is she overrated, underrated, or is it properly rated? I would say she's underrated. I think she was, at her peak, the best 
no limit tournament player in the world i don't think she ever really focused on cash games but i do think that vanessa at her peak was one of the most feared and one of the best tournament players that we've ever seen so much aggression so many wins and just always able to put opponents in very difficult spots all right top air here against the over pair with the flush draw doyle, doyle in trouble it's 41 41 Bet in a calm. And now the queen comes, and that's going to cost Doyle some money. Wow, this is a cooler for Doyle. Top two against a set. Why do you keep putting the woman out there? Only another spade may save Doyle. It looks more analytical. I like doing on uh, online. Doyle checks. You know, you can uh, make the buttons to whatever percentage of the pot you want. Exactly. So you do like 70% of the pot or something, and you just click it instantaneously, and it's like. Some weird amount. Your bet yeah, is right. like 1,000. Antonio makes an exactly. almost pot sized bet, that's, and that's, Doyle doesn't like it. He knows he's now up against no, either a stone cold bluff yeah, or a think, monster hand. Risen should get credit for that, because I think he was the first one that really online did all the weird raise sizes. Wow, big one for And he sees the bad news. Wow. Tough spot there for Doyle, giving up a sizable chunk to Esfandiari. Let's see what else we got going on here in the chat. Uh, Ken Tilden says, do we have to join PokerGo in order to watch the new high-stakes poker? Yes, can you do. Airing for the first time on December 16th. That's when the new season starts airing. On the 13th, a few days before, we have new, a new episode, our first new episode of Poker After Dark, which is also being taped at the PokerGo studio. So lots of exciting new poker content coming out, despite the fact that we're going through the hardest year possible as far as live poker. Of course, no live events, no tournaments. It's hard to be around a lot of people, but we did do a lot of work to get a um, new season taped for both High Stakes Poker and Poker After Dark. I'm really excited to share that with you guys. And this show, Running Back, is just to get you guys excited and to relive some of these old moments from back in the day. This is from 2011. I see many questions about it. So this is almost 10 years old, this, um, poker, this High Stakes Poker footage. And um, we'll watch the entire season here over the next few weeks on Run It Back. King Three and Jack Deuce. If the dealer puts three clubs on board, it's goodbye, Mr. Viffer. Nope. Five thousand. Just a pair of kings for roughing. And Viffer beats him into the pot with his monster. Obviously, he's got larceny in mind. I believe the new stakes for high stakes poker will be uh, 200, 400, 800. And of course, players can kick it up. I think we're going to see some bigger stakes than that even. So it's going to be a really juicy game with lots of money exchanging hands and lots of big pots happening. I can already tell you that. I've seen some of the footage already and it's pretty, pretty damn exciting. Why are you guys hating on Vanessa Selbst? Can someone explain to me why people are hating on Vanessa Selbst? It's just because she's crushing and she's been so successful and, you know, she plays with a lot of aggression. Do you guys, you know, not appreciate that kind of play style? I don't understand. I think Vanessa is an amazing player. Well, Always been a big fan. Getting interesting. What is David Pete going to do? Wow. There's 119,000 in the safe now. Queen of Hearts. This hand is insane. Three hearts on board. How do we get here? Two. So what's the right combination to open the safe? 30 to the right, 18 to the left. Or Boom. 100,000 in the middle. What's your answer? 50. Does the rubber band play? Does the silly band play? How much you have there? I want to say he can't call this, but he's proven me wrong before. That'd be a good deal for you. Call. And there he wow. goes. You got it. <laughs> well, look wow. at the cards, Phil. You can stop counting any time now. I beat a nine. Kings. Kings. Wow, what a call. What a call. <laughs> nice hand. Hold so on. If you don't bluff Antonio and you don't bluff people with more money than you. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Phil Ruffin. You to Phil Ruffin. <laughs> what a call. 
Did you guys see that? Were you paying attention to that? That's one of the craziest hands I've seen in a while. What a call. I think the silly bands are doing better for him than they did you. Yeah. For sure. Nice call, Phil. Thank you. Very nice call. A classic mistake by a pro. You do not beat recreational players strategically. You beat them with fundamentals. Wow. What a crazy hand that was. Probably one of my favorite hands that we've seen today on the show. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. I do this show twice a week. So back on Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. We have a, quite a few more hands here on the show today. So we're going to keep watching. But that was an incredible call from Phil Ruffin. Um, and he kept I want to hear what he has to say. And uh, I thought the Kings were pre pretty good. And then he went, I think, all in or something very close to it. Call. Just, I made a good call. I, I just, I called him head zip. You got it. Do you think that he was pushing you around, trying to, you know, be a bit of a bully at the table? Pretty hard to bully when I had all those chips. <laughs> it's an easy call for me. I was sitting there about 600,000 or something. You know, so it was easy, easy to do. Not a problem. You didn't think that, <laughs> you know, there's a possibility I you love could have this. had, you know, a better king or maybe an ace. Where, did any of that go through? No, he could have had anything. Mm -hmm. But it was worth it was worth the call to do that, and you know, everybody everybody at the table said that's a great call. So maybe it was. I don't know. Nice call, Phil. Thank you. Very nice call. <laughs> Would you have made the same call against uh, one of the other players if it had been someone else? I'd have to think about it. I'd have to think about it a little bit. Oh my God, what an insane spot that was from Viffer. When you get to the river in a spot like that, and there's already so much money in the middle, I feel as though you just have to bluff at it. You just have to. You just can't give up with the nine high there on the river. And then for someone like Phil Ruffin to just easy snap it off there for 100K is such a deflating feeling. All right, let's see if Viffer can get some money back here with the jacks. So they'll go heads up to the flop. He's going to eat here at this table. He's been doing it all day. He's smart. See, I am prepared. I brought my food, though. Right. You know? Oh, and another bad yeah, flop for Klein. He decides to proceed cautiously. All right, maybe if, if we can get some money back here with the set. Queen of Heart gives him a double gutter. I think Bill Klein's just getting a little gun shy. If he was winning. Wow, Bill Klein gives it up rather easily. Um, let me remind you guys and girls who are watching once more about the giveaway. We're giving away a signed photograph from the new season of High Stakes Poker. Mr. Phil Ivey signed the photo. It's really, really cool. It's an awesome prize. All you have to do is go to PokerGo on Instagram and leave a comment on the giveaway photo. It is the second to last photo that we posted on our feed. It already has 192 comments right now. Let's push that over. 200. All right, Ruffin has 840k in front of him right now. Incredible. Ruffin has increased his stack size. He's now up over 340,000. And Klein's charity doing even better, 350,000 up. I will tell you one thing though. I bet you do sleep good tonight. I got a hotel to run, guys. I heard about that. All right, Vanessa Selbs getting involved here again with the Queen Eight. Uh, we have a few more hands left here on the show, so please don't forget to join our giveaway. And, of course, if you want to watch the new season of High Stakes Poker, December 16, that's when the action starts. Um, <laughs> uh, the Jeff says, when are we getting Jamie Gold? Yes, Jamie Gold promised to come on this show to watch the 06 main event final table with me. We have not been able to make it work yet. Uh, if you guys want to tweet at Jamie Gold to ask him when he's coming on the show, please do so because I would still love to have him on the show. Um, some other people that I um, that I would like to have on the show are Patrick Antonius and maybe we should have Sven Diari back on the show to watch some more high stakes poker. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for guests that I should have, please let me know in the chat or in the comments below. You eat steak style? Yeah. But Vanessa takes a shot at it She's and Croak immediately yeah, calls. Yeah, I will. I'll comp you. Okay. Okay. He's comping Doyle, but no free appetizers for Antonio. No worries. <laughs> yeah, and then he's, do, he's come by any time. Any time. That hurts a little bit. Yeah, you can come by any time. 
And I'll comp you Thank too. Thank you. I don't need a comp. Hey, yeah, you got a lot of money. <laughs> Not a matter of money, it's a matter of. Subs hits the perfect card on the turn. I appreciate it. I will take you up on that. I'll bring my dad. He loves steak. Okay. My dad yeah. and my little brother. Okay. I got good quality meat in there every evening. Anybody got a queen? I'll just tell the Yes, uh, the lady in the, the two lady. seat. Uh, you know, the owner said he's gonna Straight for self here against two pair. Let's see how far that Croak's been really cautious in this entire episode, giving up very easily on some big hands, so I wonder if Selps can make some actual money off of him. He'll dump oh, off no. the rest of this. No idea really, but number. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> like Lyle said, he called Bobby. <laughs> said, you know, what's a good restaurant here in the REA? Bobby told him one of them, I forget which one. And he said, Go ahead and go go to dinner, I'll I'll comp you. I'll pick, I'll pick up the check, he said, laughing. And I, well, I said, okay, make it for eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. It's 22,000. Breaking up that beautiful bundle must be breaking his heart. Cash money. Vanessa has to know that Croak has two pair or a set. Oh, boy. And King pairs the board. I wonder what she's going to do. And Robert Croak hates that card. It nullifies his aces and jacks. Nice value bet. Is that 32 two? I don't see how she's gonna get paid off. Bill Ruffin might be a different story. Got a big hand? You have a super good hand? <laughs> so gross. God, I just feel like, why would you bet that river? Because she's hoping you'll call. Huh. This, this actually, you know, the king makes it easier for Croak to fold, but still, Vanessa's so aggressive. You don't want to get bluffed. Figured that out. All right, he is out. He folded again. Robert Croak definitely not having a good day here on the show. Vanessa gets a little bit of her losses back. Uh, Rick Duffy is asking, is the new High Stakes Poker on TV or YouTube? It'll be on Poker Go exclusively, airing every single week starting on December 16th. 26 new episodes coming to Poker Go starting on the 16th of December. Use the promo code HSP2020 to take $10 off the annual subscription if you want to subscribe and not miss out on any of that good content. Um, for now, however, we have a few more weeks to go and we have a lot more High Stakes Poker Season 7 to watch. So, you know, let's enjoy, run it back. Don't miss the episode. Subscribe to our channels and this show will co continue to go on twice a week on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern and on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So lots of High Stakes Poker action still to come. All right. And he gets four callers. <laughs> All right, let's play this game. We are almost at the end of the show. We have five-way action to the flop. Some people love the game. Some people hate the game, but I'm a big fan. Pick your favorite. Pick your winner for this hand. I'm going to go with Phil Ruffin. Phil Ruffin is unstoppable. I think he's going to win this hand. Pick your favorite in this play. The show is almost done, so play with me here. Like, subscribe, and play with me. Let me know in the chat who is going to win this hand. I appreciate everyone watching. As always, very international crowd. I, that is my favorite thing about the show, that we bring people from all over the world together to enjoy all this amazing poker action. All right, for now, let me know in the chat who is going to win this hand. I'm going to take Phil Ruffin with the King Do Suited. We have multi-way action, so this could go either way. It's a fun game. It's just for fun. Come on, guys. Play along with me. Let me know who you think is going to win. I'm going to hit play. We're going to see if this five-way hand is going to go anywhere. I hope it's going to be a big one, and I'm rooting for Phil Ruffin. Good luck to me. It's a loose call for, yeah. for, for, for the TV. That's okay. I got favor. Okay. It's a good start. Wow. A lot of potential on this flop. Greenstein with a set. I like Barry's hand. Antonio has a straight flush draw. And a nine would make him a straight also. Wow. Look at this draw. 
Viffer decided to jump barefoot into a cactus field. Wow, this hand is... Now, Barry Greenstein has to raise here. He knows one of these boys has a draw. There we go, 30K, let's go, fire it up, big pot. He does make it 30,000. Now Antonio. He must be wondering if somebody has a bigger heart draw. Barry could have an ace 10 of hearts. What a big draw. It's almost 50-50, as you can see on the screen. Pretty nuts. That looks like a race to me. Really thinking this over. That is Norm MacDonald, Mike Wall. Good ear. And a big raise by Antonio. 106,000. And this gets rid of the barefoot boy. Well, Barry's not calling here. And it's hard to imagine him folding with only two hands that can beat him. That only leaves one option. Let's see if he's going to shove or not. All in. And that's the option. Once or twice. Antonio calls. We have the biggest pot of the season, just shy of $600,000. Wow. Antonio just asked Barry if he wanted to run it twice, but Barry always runs it just once. And a heart hits there the turn, which means Barry will have to pair the board, or it's a magical moment for Antonio. Are they going to say that to me? No pair. Abracadabra, 600,000 goes to Antonio. Wow. What a massive, massive pot there for Antonio. Derek, thanks so much for watching from South Africa. I appreciate you joining us here on the show for the very first time. Rochelle says, do you like Phil Helmuth as a player? Uh, and he's also asking if he's ever going to be on the show. Yes, he will be. And yes, I do like him as a player. I'm a big fan of Phil. And he's been on the show before. In case you guys want to go back and check that out. All right. That is the end of this episode. Next week or on Thursday, Andrew Robel joining us for some action here on Season 7. Um, one more time. Join our giveaway. Go on over to Instagram. Go on over to PokerGo on Instagram and make sure to join our giveaway because we're giving away a signed photo by Phil Ivy. It is the second to last post on our Instagram channel. Leave a comment and you might win yourself a signed photograph by Phil Ivy for the new season of High Stakes Poker. All right, that is airing on December 16th. On the 13th, Poker After Dark comes back. I've been promoting this all all show long, but I cannot stop because it's just very important information. All right, I'll be back at 8 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Until then, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments who the next guest should be on this show. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone watching. Much love to everyone. Please come back on Thursday, and please join me then again for more high-stakes poker action. For now, my name is Remco Rinkema. You can find me on Twitter at Remco Rinkema. Pretty easy. Just spell it out like it sounds. And then you can always get in touch with me. My DMs are open in case you want to ask any questions. All right. Everyone, have a good afternoon, good night, or good morning, depending on where you're watching from. And I will catch you all on Thursday.